Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you this week, Capricorn. Okay, this card wanted to fall out right away. Woo, the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is what's going on for you this week. Um, all right, so let's just get some more cards before we go in on that, right? Um, what's the advice this week for Capricorn? The King of Wands. Okay. All right, very nice. The outcome. The Ace of Pentacles. So very good. This week you need to be focused on you. Keep your plans to yourself. There's a lot of people talking around you, talking about you, talking behind your back. They don't have... They're speculating. There's a lot of speculation about what's going on with you. Okay? Uh, what you're running from or what you're running to or what you're doing. Um... There's also some people around you who just don't mean you any good. They don't have your best intentions at heart. Um, they're masquerading like they're your friend, but they're really not. They will backstab you at giving the opportunity. Th these are people who leave you holding the bag. So if you want to get in business with them or go into business with them, do keep that in mind. Um, if it's a relationship, they'll leave you holding the bag of tears then. You know, they'll leave you just... Their real intention is that they're out for themselves. This could be you, Capricorn. This could be how you're coming off to people, whether you know it or not, or whether it's intentional. Um, the out the advice here is the King of Wands. So be dynamic, be outgoing, take the leadership role, or um, yeah, take the leadership role here. Put yourself out there. Be focused on the big, bigger picture here. Don't be focused on, you know, the small and minute. That's not going to get you anywhere. Um, you can get advice. You can get um, a second pair of eyes to look at something if you need that. But be focused on the bigger picture, especially when it comes to business, when it comes to handling your business. Some of you could become fathers or you are fathers. Some of you are thinking about proposing something to someone, maybe even giving someone an engagement ring. Um, you're trying to keep something away from this person if you are planning a secret proposal here. Some of you want to be married. I'm here want to be married again. Um, the four of cups here, it seems as if you just kind of just uh, being reserved, keeping your uh, emotions to yourself. Um, people may say that you're coming off a bit self-centered, um, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of like self-preservation at this point. Um, that's the only way that you can stay centered is to not give away too much of yourself. You're not giving away anything and you're not letting anything out. You could be withholding your emotions, too. This is how somebody feels, maybe even about you. Um, or it could be vice versa. You know, you feel this way about someone else. The Ace of Pentacles says an opportunity here uh, will come to you, one that you won't have to chase. It says opportunity, no chase. And if you don't see the opportunity, it says look again. There is, you're coming to a place of self-actualization, like you actually got to a place of maybe healing, restoration, better health strength training i don't know you're doing something starting a garden just maybe even a healthier lifestyle psychologically you're in a place a better place uh, than maybe you were before you were not doing well mentally emotionally but psychologically you're in a better place um psychologically you're in a better place so now it's allowing you to realize your potential because you were sleeping on yourself therefore other people were sleeping on you it's opportunity right now to get back out there, even in the face of adversity, even in the face of other people talking about you or behind your back, even people who are acting and masquerading around you like they're friends, but they're really not. It doesn't matter. This is a good week for you. It says get back out there, put yourself out there, um, do what you need to do. If you have plans, act on them, uh, employ people to um, help you if you need help. Um, if you, there's a secret proposal, maybe for some of you here, um, you're keeping something back also or holding something back, uh, withholding here. 
if it resonates for you, Capricorn, go over to the website book there. You could ask me a question by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L or coffee link. Find me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. You can donate to the channel. You could just come for the collective reading. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.